The Texas Department of Criminal Justice announces it won't be transporting people in its custody until further notice, with a couple of exceptions. This comes after this man, Gonzalo Lopez, escaped and was on the run for more than three weeks. Police say he killed a family of five before he was found. Jayla Washington walks us through the efforts to figure out what happened and what limited prison transports will look like. The man responsible for shutting down the Texas Department of Criminal Justice's inmate transports caused a lot of pain before police found him more than three weeks after he escaped custody. Heartbroken. It's a lot of a mixed emotion. There is a sense of relief, though, now that he's gone. Very swiftly uh, shot and killed uh, Lopez, bringing this whole ordeal to an end. Inmates in TDCJ custody are usually transported for at least a dozen different reasons, including being moved from county jails or even state or federal courts. While TDCJ says it will be transporting prisoners into its custody, it won't be allowing any other transports unless an inmate is scheduled to be released or has an emergency medical appointment with additional security. Lopez, he was being transported for a medical appointment from this school bus style bus, but with a caged area and emergency door for the officer. I think we all began to let our guard down. While everyone is still asking how this happened, TDCJ pledges to make the transport process more secure. We're told in Lopez's transport, there could have been three officers there instead of two. It will be part of, of us going backwards to determine how that escape happened. That was Jayla Washington reporting. It's worth noting there are people in TDCJ custody who may have court cases that might be delayed because of transports now being limited. It's not clear yet how many will be impacted. The state's Department of Criminal Justice says it'll be doing its own investigation to find out how Lopez escaped. An outside agency will also be doing an investigation. No word yet how long those will take. Uvalde, Texas is where I was born. Uvalde is where I learned to master a, a, a daisy BB gun. Uvalde is where I was taught to revere the power and the capability of the tool that we call a gun. A Texas celebrity and Uvalde native visits the White House. His unique perspective on the situation and his message to lawmakers as they negotiate meaningful gun reform. A recent investigation showed you the problem of doctors with disciplinary issues still practicing. Now we're looking at what one candidate for governor would do differently in the future. 